So scientists got bored of watching the Earth turn, so after 24 hours, they called it a day. But um, shh. Boredom, if it hasn't hit you yet, uh, good on you. For us extroverts who rely on gathering with large groups of people during this COVID era, it's been a huge adjustment. Boredom and stir crazy have literally become my new best friends because I'm extroverted and I like to make friends. Here's the thing though, from the moment I became a disciple of Christ back in high school, I really haven't been too bored as long as I've been trying to live out God's will. Really, being a Christian isn't boring. It's quite the opposite. It's an adventure. Now, I know many people are going to think, well, Christians, they can't do this. They can't do that. And this is something I kind of admit that there's a certain allurement and attraction to the things of this world. But that can't really ease the boredom. Sin and temptations easily look good and feel good at first and even ease the burden of boredom for a time, but always trick us and leave us unfulfilled. I like playing endless hours of video games and watching endless hours of Fox News. Yes, I'm a little guilty, but I have to admit that those things don't really quench my thirst for adventure, passion, and love. Most of the time, they're leave me, leaving me wanting more, and they don't really satisfy. Of course, they're the things of this world that are really good and really beautiful that entertain me and even sometimes fill me with God's eternal beauty. I love to see my 10-year-old son build beautiful cities in Minecraft and watch my 11-year-old score goals in soccer. It's entertaining. It passes the time away. It's fulfilling. But still, I feel like there is something more. Why do we still get bored? The Bible tells us in Hebrews 6, verse 11 through 12, our greatest desire is that you will keep on loving others as long as life lasts in order to make certain that what you hope for will come true. Then you will not become spiritually dull and indifferent. Instead, you will follow the example of those who are going to inherit God's promises because of the faith and endurance. So basically, when we get bored, it's because we don't love. When all we are doing is thinking about how we can entertain ourselves and keep ourselves busy, work on our hobbies and live for ourselves, we naturally get these feelings of boredom because they can't truly fulfill what's missing in our hearts. However, God can and God is love. God created us out of love, for love, and to love. And when we recognize that God is love, we recognize that we should love our neighbor as ourself. And that is the key to eliminating boredom. Our challenge is to make ourselves available to God who is love and ask him to pour his blessings and purpose for our lives into our restless souls. When you recognize your purpose in life and ask God to work through your boredom, then your boredom will wash away. Nehemiah says, let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Let's not ask how we can be entertained and amused all the time, but how we can find lasting joy in the Lord. And as you sit in your COVID-19 safe house in your boredom, ask the Lord, where are you in all of this? Give me joy. May God bless you.